Apple Shop is deeply embedded in the culture of media production within and about the Appalachian region. But to understand the history of Apple Shop, one must understand the history of Central Appalachia, a mountainous region with a rich culture of traditional music and artisans still practiced today. A region heavily based upon religion and a proud sense of community. Yet, it is a region constantly stigmatized and linked to issues of poverty, drug addiction, a failing coal industry, just to name a few. While these issues are real, they have also become stereotypes heavily discussed in mass media for the past several decades. Historically, the version of Central Appalachia presented to the world was not a region at all, but rather an exploited reality manipulated for the benefit of others. This false imagery of the region was perhaps most abundant during the War on Poverty of the 1960s. Founded by President Lyndon B. Johnson in 1964, the legislation aimed to end and prevent further poverty in the United States. With a poverty rate of 59.4 at the time, Central Appalachia became a feeding ground for national media. Journalists and news reporters captured images of the shocking lifestyles of Appalachian people showing only one biased and minute perspective of these rural communities. If the war on poverty brought any good to Central Appalachia, it was through the creation of Apple Shop. First established as the Appalachian Film Workshop in Wattsburg, Kentucky in 1969, this media organization was one of 10 community film workshops formed across the country during the war on poverty. The film workshop was designed to teach young Appalachians how to produce films in hopes of boosting the economy and creating an alternative narrative for the region that was not linked to poverty. Whereas most of these film workshops were located in urban areas with nearby jobs in film and television, the Appalachian site was based in Letcher County, Kentucky, a coal-dominated region where jobs and media production were nearly non-existent. Realizing this lack of work opportunities, the film workshop was also seen as an opportunity for young people to train in media and leave their homes to start successful careers elsewhere. In working with the Appalachian Film Workshop, young people of the region were able to see their community through a lens they controlled, and it looked very different than the images produced by mass media. Members of the workshop knew they could not leave as this was an opportunity to tell their stories of Central Appalachia and the people who call it home. Yet, members of their communities were still hesitant and unsure of the medium to spot who was behind the camera. When government funding for the workshops ended in 1971, the Appalachian Film Workshop persevered and evolved into a nonprofit filmmaking hub known today as Apple Shop. By the mid-1970s, over 100 films were produced in the rural town of Wattsburg, highlighting Appalachian art, culture, as well as social and environmental issues. The company continued to attract young artists who were producing creative works far beyond the visions of the original film workshop. With the development of a traveling theater company called Roadside Theater and an in-house recording label called June Apple Recordings, Apple Shop quickly outgrew the small studio they had worked out of since 1969. In 1982, the company purchased and renovated a former bottling plant into a new three-story headquarters at the steep price of $1 million. The surrounding community was shocked by such an investment and started to see new potential in the community. Throughout the remainder of the century, Apple Shop continued to expand with the creation of their own radio station WMMT, establishing an annual music festival called Sea Time on the Cumberland, and continuing to train young filmmakers with the establishment of the Appalachian Media Institute. Apple Shop celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2019 and is still as lively as ever. It stands as one of the longest running community media centers in the United States and continues to embark on new initiatives every year each with a common goal of supporting their local community. Today, Apple Shop continues to produce media discussing the central Appalachian region and beyond and hopes to continue their work for decades to come. For CVM 320, I'm Hannah Adams.